Arcadia Civic Youth Council is holding their History Day event here in Arcadia High School's multi-purpose room. Arcadia Civic Youth Council contributes to volunteer efforts across the city and advocates on behalf of the children and teens in Arcadia. So overall, we believe that preserving our history can be politically engaged in social issues and political issues is very important to our overall goal of encouraging the youth to get involved in civics. The event focused on the Japanese incarceration at the Santa Anita Park during World War II and consisted of two segments. The first one being an in-depth presentation by the Guilt Museum of Arcadia Heritage. February 19, Franklin Delano Roosevelt he, uh, puts out Executive Order 9066, which gives the government the right to assemble all suspected enemy agents. And in doing so, a lot of people, they were um, forcibly detained at the Santa Anita Japanese Assembly Center, which was established at Santa Anita Park. About 100,000 people of Japanese descent were detained there. I really hope to educate students on the Assembly Center and also to inspire students to really study history. Um, history is an amazing subject and I think we could learn so much from it. I think a lot of people don't realize that Arcadia has such a storied history. It has an amazing legacy and if we don't study that, a lot of it's just lost. Um, the Guild Museum is really cool because we try to preserve a lot of that history but we're still trying to advocate for the museum um, as much as we can. Arcadia High's History Bowl and National Honor Society also help to provide an unforgettable experience for attendees. The second segment of the event consisted of a guided discussion between students to reflect on what they learned as well as a reflection board. So with this History Day again, like I said, we really want to highlight historical experiences in Arcadia. Unfortunately, Japanese Ameri the history of Japanese American term in Arcadia is not very well known. But we believe in highlighting these unfortunate injustices. Not only are we becoming closer to reconciling the fact that we played a role in unfortunately imprisoning all of these Japanese Americans, but we also are connecting our own, our own selves as, our, as current Arcadians with this history as well. I think acknowledging the fact that these unfortunate historical events happened really brings a lot of Arcadia, Asian or otherwise, closer to understanding the injustice our country has unfortunately reckoned with. And hopefully in reckoning more of this history and understanding it, we can learn how to be better from this history and, and acknowledge it. And we hope that in highlighting the specific experience of, of Japanese Americans here, they're able to shed a light and make a precedent about what other people's backgrounds and histories could be acknowledged. For more information on the Japanese history at Santa Anita, check out this website created by ACYC. This has been Nicole Nee reporting for AUSD Today.